All right, so right now we got, oh, we actually got two interviews to do. All right, so let's get this first interview. We'll answer these honestly, all right? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna just be real with this. What's your favorite night before the game meal? Well, um, Conrad, uh, I like to eat at home by myself, no. Something fast, uh, whatever the team's, whatever the team's having, you know what I mean? You gotta eat with my brothers, because, you know, we all trying to eat, you know what I mean? What other position do you wish you could play? <sighs> uh, I mean, I've got pretty good hands, so I could help out there, yeah, no doubt. Linebacker, nah. QB, you're the field general, and when you're good, everybody watches. Uh... I'm gonna say I'm gonna say wide out. I'm gonna say wide out. Whose jersey do you most want or already have in your closet? Cedric Benson. <laughs> Hell no, not Cedric Benson. Sean Ox. Yeah, definitely. I just gotta say Michael Vick. Come on, now you know it's the goat. I actually have a Mike Vick jersey. What is your favorite thing to do in your spare time? Lay back and dream about signing that deal. I play video games. I'm very competitive. I play Madden a lot. Or play with my. Okay, we don't. I don't like dogs. So lay back and dream about signing that deal. I mean, it's. I mean, I. I always think of that. I always think. Of, I always just sit back sometimes and just think about where I want to be. Right. So that would be an honest answer. But I also play a lot of video games. So I'm gonna have to say video games. Thank you for your time. Hey, thank you for your time, Conrad. Goodbye, my boy Ace. <laughs> Do you think you'll end up where you want to be? Even so-called experts can't predict a draft, so let's see what happens. My guess is as good as yours. It doesn't matter. I'll do my I'll do my best wherever I go, you know what I mean? I want to go to Philly, of course, but I mean, they already got Brian Westbrook, so I don't know how that'll go. What can you contribute to a football organization? Responsibility, work ethic, and a desire to win. I could be a leader of a te uh, any team for years to come. I'll just step into my new role and do my job. I mean, these are all pretty good answers. Uh, I'm going to have to say I could be a leader of any team for years to come because... I mean, that's what I'm, that's what I'm gonna be, you know what I mean? When I go out there, I wanna lead. I wanna help uh, you know, get right with you, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna definitely say I could be a leader of any team for years to come. I mean, that's probably what some teams don't wanna hear because they already got their leaders up. They just want a rookie to come in and do their job, but we ain't no regular rook, you know what I mean? What are the goals you would like to accomplish while playing the NFL? Win a Super Bowl, be recognized one of the best ever, become a star. Win a bowl, man, so what's all about? We only play the game to win. What's your focus in training camp this year? Staying healthy, my stamina, just getting ready for the season. Um, staying healthy or getting ready for the season? Eh, I'm gonna say getting ready for the season. All right, so now let's sign our agent. I'm pretty sure you can only sign one. Oh no, okay, so you can sign a couple. I remember on the PS2 days, you can only sign one to start. All right, so right now I'm really looking at Ed Sable and uh, my guy Graham Cash. Now, Graham Cash just looks like a savage. This agent will use any means necessary, ethical or unethical. Uh, he'll have your best interest at heart as long as it's in his best interest. <laughs> or Ed Sable, he's a solid, stabilizing force in a player's life. He's willing to represent the players that other agents won't touch. I mean, they both sound kind of bad in their own way. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to go with Graham Cash, I guess. I mean, by any means necessary, as long as it's in his best interest, I'm gonna make sure it's always in his best interest to help me first. So we're gonna sign with him. Let's get it, Graham. So you see already, we just signed uh, with our agent. We got 1,000 career influence and our player ego is big headed. <laughs> I guess that has to do with picking a negative agent or a, an agent with negative influence and as well as some of the answers I picked. Now if you go over here to my agent, you get to see the agent directory, you can fire agent, hire a new one. All right, so right here on the individual workout, you get to pick what you want to uh, upgrade or what you want to work on. So of course, if you pick elusive or power back, you're gonna work on um, the running drill, the same one with the, with the full back and the linebackers and stuff. But what we're gonna work on is speed because I want to get this 90 speed. So you could do it on all Madden difficulty for seven points. So you see, to upgrade you need nine. You could do um, this on all Madden for seven points, but you need 18,000 uh, to get those seven points. So I don't know about that. We'll take all pro for five points, but we gotta we gotta make sure we get this money, bro. <laughs> all right, let's let's do this here. Oh yeah, this is a good time. Is Did my guy just fall? What? I just ran a 5-4, yo. All right, well, oh. All right, well, as you saw, um, clearly didn't get a very good time, but we still got the five points, so, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to question it. I don't know how that works. I guess next time I'll just do it on all mad and see if I can get to seven, but we got our next workout here. Let's run that same thing. Now this time we're running for the Steelers. All right, let's run this this time and let's not fall, please. Come on, bro. I didn't even get in the zone. I don't know if I'm supposed to like 
just spam it like really quick like that because obviously i could do that or I, I don't know if i'm just like stride like one two three four one two like i don't know if it's a timing thing or just how many times i flick it it's not looking too good for me though did i get the points though okay but anyways we still do get the points so that's fine we got another interview here let's do this real quick how good are you wait what how <laughs> how good are you are you at the level that agent peterson is not at his level, he won't even come close to me in the pros. Only time will tell, right? That's for you to decide. I'll let my play do the talking. Yeah, we'll just say that. I'll let my play do the talking. Our draft experts caution teams to stay away from you because of your attitude. Thoughts? I've tried to modify my attitude. That's ridiculous. He must not be much of an expert. I mean, personally, I would just say... I just keep it real again you know what i mean so I, I mean there's nothing here that really says that. i'm gonna just say he must not be much of an expert which is showing attitude but hey one nfl gm told me that it would take a few years for you to blossom in the nfl do you agree a few years you must be joking i've already blossomed that's possible i'm not working really hard a few years you must be joking i'm coming i'm making a difference on a team right now draft day i'm making a difference right away what number are you gonna wear in the pros i want the same number i wore in college that's how people know me I don't really care about that. It doesn't really matter. It's only number 25 for how many TDs I'm scoring this season. Um, I guess I'll just say it doesn't really matter because this is just a dumbass answer. And that's it. Bye. All right, man. Let's uh, let's do this IQ test. Y'all are about to see your boy Tay the God just do some some dumb ish right here. No no cheating. No um looking up answers because I remember back in the day when I was like really wanting to get like uh, everything right in my uh, pre-draft. I would look up the answers to the IQ test. But no, we're going to do this all off the top right now. Just don't make fun of me, all right? I'm, whew, all right. This is all off the top. We're going to do it. There's a lot of math in here. There's even some English, but let's, let's just do this. All right, let's go. All right, that's a very long time. All right, 6, 13, 19, 24. Okay, so 6, that's 7, and then that's 6, and that's 5. So next is 4, so 28. Okay, that's easy. All right, 5, 12, 26, 54. Oh, Jesus from Christ. Okay, wait. 5 to 12 is 7. So that's 14, so that's 21, so next is 28, so 54 plus 28, oh, I'm so bad at math, 54 plus 28, that's uh, 60, 74, and then plus 8, 6, 80, 82, oh shit, 92, what, wait, how, 80, oh, 92, yeah, it's 92, okay, two geese and three elephants have a total of, okay, geese, so wait, two geese, so that's two, four, and three elephants is four, uh, four, eight, 12, so 12 plus four, Four, 16? 12 is 4, 16, right? Yeah, okay, 16. What is the next logical number in the series? 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, right? 3, 6, 12, 24. Oh, uh, that's 6. And then that's, wait, that's 3, 6. And then that's 9, right? No. Wait. 3, 6. Wait, the difference, okay, the difference is there's 3, and then 3, that's that's six and then twelve that's twelve. So what you're just adding yeah, you're just adding the number. So twenty-four, that's forty-eight. Forty-eight. Wood is to tree as rain is to water. Oh wait, no. Wood is to tree as rain is to cloud. Or ocean? Or water? Rain comes from clouds. Wait, wood comes from tree. Rain comes from cloud okay i'm gonna say cloud which of the <laughs> jesus christ which of the following is least like the others book magazine television uh if matt oh shoot i always hated these questions if matt runs 50 yards in six seconds how long will it take him to run what question am i on oh it doesn't even say 100 yards at the same pace oh that's easy that's an easy one how long will it take him to run? so that's uh 12 seconds yeah it's easy I hate the conversion ones, the conversion ones, because I don't know, like, inches and stuff. Uh, if a quarter of football were to last 20 minutes, how long would four quarters last? 80. An hour. An hour and 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay. I think these are such simple questions that I'm just, I'm trying to make sure I don't get them wrong. The word most closely to op... The tear? I don't know. Wait, the tear, like, deteriorate? Like... Deter okay, I'm, I think deter means like to take away, right? The word most close. <laughs> See how they word this ish? Most closely opposite to deter. So to deter is like to take away. So that would mean opposite is promote. So the close opposite would be promote. Woo! 90%! Your boy, your boy got 90%. You know what I mean? That's just that.
That's just that knowledge, y'all. That's that knowledge. Knowledge. I'm pretty sure the one I messed up was that was that cloud one. You think rain was to water or to cloud? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, we'll take it. I mean, we'll take that 90%. Let's get this last workout in before the draft. Or no, sorry, before the combine. Okay, wait. Alright, let's get right. Let's get right. Get right. Oh, we're not we're not pressing 20, I don't think, this time. Oh yeah, wait, no, we good. Hey, we good. Oh yeah, look how much bar we still got. Let's go. Get right. Get right. Come on, we gotta beat 21. Get right. No, we got one more on. We got one more on us. Let's go. Get right. One more. One more. Let's go. That's hard, bro. It's always about one more. You could always get one more. Let's go. One more rep. That's gonna be the difference. That's what separates me from you. And and I didn't even I didn't even get the seven. I didn't even get the seven. Nice. All right. Well, um. Young nigga, I'm just trying to run through a check soon as you get a neck to stay be aiming for your neck. Half of these men who damn me out, they ain't got no respect. And these cats just used to curb me, now they wanna have sex. Goddamn.